Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn your Galaxy Note 5 into a Galaxy Note 7. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, what I've got here is the crisscross ROM. And I've got, uh, this is a fully ported ROM. And uh, I've got to install it actually on SM N920C. But it will change your model number to N930F. You can pretty much install it on all the international N920s series. You'll see my baseband is N920C. You can install it like N920i, all the Korean models, uh, and a few more. But check my site for all the phones supported. You can also install it on T-Mobile Note 5. I've tried it. Um, the only thing is that calls don't work yet, so you won't be able to receive or make calls. But if you actually want to try it, um, you can actually install it. Everything else works except for the calls for T-Mobile or Canadian. Um, I'll have all the instructions again in the link below. Go ahead and download all the appropriate files that you need. Uh, of course, you'll have to have a rooted Note 5 and Twerp Recovery installed. Uh, once you have that installed, we're going to go ahead and reboot into Twerp, install the files, reboot, that's pretty much it. All right, to boot into Twerp Recovery, volume up, center home, power, all right, let go of all the buttons when you see recovery is not enforcing. All right, when you're in Twerp, you're going to go ahead and do a wipe, go to advanced wipe, format system, all right, and do swipe. I'm not going to do it right now because I already installed it. After that, go ahead and go to install, go ahead and install the crisscross ROM. All right, go to add more zips and also install the V2 fix. All right, um, confirm to flash and this will give you an aroma installer. And you just go through all the options you want and you're pretty much done. All right, go ahead and click next. Uh, run ROM install next. Y you can do a dirty flash since we wiped uh, already. You don't really have to do that. Now go ahead and choose all the stuff you want. Uh, for example, if you want Galaxy apps, make sure you put that. Hit next. It does have a loud sound mod, which is really nice. Go ahead and say yes. All right, and then go ahead and install now. And when that's done, um, don't reboot and you will install the fix and reboot. That's pretty much it. Now, if you're having trouble booting, uh, make sure you're on 6.0.1 bootloader. Uh, if you don't have 6.0.1 bootloader, you can go ahead and flash that with Odin. All right, I'll have links on how to do that also. Also, you may end up in a boot loop anyways. Um, I've had to use a custom kernel like Sky High Kernel and made it boot also if you end up in a boot loop. And, and for T-Mobile variants, to get it booted, you'll need to use a Sky High Kernel uh, to make it actually boot. All right, go ahead and click Next. Don't reboot your device now because it's going to install the fix here. Go ahead and swipe to unlock and it will install uh, the fix. And then go ahead and reboot system. Now, like I said, if you end up in a boot loop, um, go ahead and install a custom kernel for your model of Note 5, and that should get it booted. And also, if you have not updated to official 6.0.1 yet, that means you have Lollipop bootloader, you may have to also flash um, Marshmallow bootloader, which I'll also have links to for all the different models of Note 5. And you'll see that I actually booted once, so don't worry about that. And the second time, it should boot up just fine. All right, guys, you can see I got it booted and you should be good to go. Now, this ROM does have fingerprint working. Uh, obviously, Iris is not going to work because you don't have an Iris sensor, but everything is pretty much Galaxy Note 7. It, it does also have root, which is nice. And you should be able to easily install Expose and use Expose modules. All right, guys, of course, you get all of the new features um, such as Magnify, S Pen, uh, Glance, um, all of this good stuff. And of course, you've also got uh, S7 Edge uh, full S7 panels. And this one actually does come with uh, the new Note 7 camera, uh, which actually works flawless. This also supports um, different gestures. You can go ahead and swipe. You can go ahead and swipe up uh, to change the camera. Go make it back. Swipe to the right. Also, you can go ahead and swipe to the left and it'll give you the menus, which is really nice. Looking awesome. This is not perfect yet, um, but most of the basics are working. Performance is pretty good. Battery life is pretty good. So definitely check it out. This is what I'm daily driving on my Note 5 right now. Anyway, have a great day, folks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.